You're crying on that stage. When am I not crying I in public? It's so upsetting. Why were you crying? <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw the the. Well, I didn't even. We didn't even it's see. We didn't even see. It's but I saw the logo and I went, "That's my name, Snow White's up there," and I cried my eyes out. What was it like seeing yourself for the first time in full Snow White drag? I love that description. It's perfect. Oh, my God. Well, when you get to wear Sandy Powell, first of all, insane. And then you get to be lit by Mandy Walker. And Nadia Stacy designed your hair and makeup. It's like the most incredible thing in the world. And then all of a sudden you open your eyes and you watch the playback, which I never do. And I saw myself on screen and I just wanted to throw up. I was so happy about it. And it was the most incredible experience. And the fan reaction was insane. We didn't even see what they were clapping for. I think it was good. I don't know. Yeah. Didn't see anything. Yeah. We're still yourself. waiting. Yeah. You see yourself as the evil queen. You are not evil. <laughs> you are not evil. You're a queen, but you're not evil. What was it like seeing yourself as the evil queen for the first time? I didn't we did not see the clip, so I I still haven't seen anything. But when I was in makeup, just like she said, we got to work with such an amazing crew and it was just like the best it could ever be. Uh, I must say that for me also the transition for the old hag was incredible because it was all real prosthetics and all of that. And you were in the chair for like four hours. Four hours and, <laughs> but, and changing the voice and everything. I feel so lucky that I got to play something that is so far from what, I'm, what I know and what I'm used to. And I super, super enjoyed every second of it. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937. And we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is... not going to be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince. And she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. And so it's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves in. Snow White is running for president. <laughs> I'm launching my campaign. I am.